Hello and welcome to another video in my series on, uh, pra on uh, practical control systems. In this video, we will uh, uh, concern ourselves with system modeling and actually the procedure for modeling a standard mass spring damper system <clears throat> producing a block diagram of that system. <clears throat> we start off with a standard model of an MCK system. We have a mass that can move horizontally right and left. <clears throat> it's attached to a, a fixed uh, a base by a spring and a damper also. Um, we measure the displacement of this mass. That's actually what we're interested in. Uh, the mass can also have a, a, a imposed on it an external force. The starting point of our analysis is actually to apply a Newton's second law to this system. Uh, if we do that, <clears throat> the details are not shown here, but if we do that, we will produce the uh, following equation of motion for this system. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is a, an ODE um, uh, in time, and uh, it's the starting point for this procedure. The first step in the procedure is actually to solve the equation for the highest order derivative uh, in it. In this case, it's a second order system, so we solve the equation for x double dot. And what we see here is that actually, if we um, analyze the equation, we have uh, two levels of integration. We integrate from uh, x double dot to x dot and then to x. And all three of these quantities play a role in the system. They're all in the equation. Now, our starting point is actually to set up something that I call the integration backbone of the system. Uh, we have these two stages of integration, so we lay them out. We get two integrators. Uh, 1 over s is the um, Laplace transform version of the integral operation. So we send in uh, x double dot on the left. Uh, it's integrated up to x dot, and then that's integrated up to x. These are all quantities that are in the equation, so we shall need them uh, as we build a block diagram. Uh, we keep the equation handy. Uh, we start by building off of the integration backbone. Uh, we can look at the equation and see that uh, we need to multiply x dot by c, which is the damping coefficient, and we need to multiply x by k, which is the stiffness coefficient. So we come off of the integration black, uh, backbone uh, and actually perform those multiplications, and as you can see, the result are, uh, are c times x dot and k times x. And we're starting to build the equation actually in block diagram form is what we're doing. So we have the second and third elements uh, that are inside the brackets. Uh, now we see also in, inside that by referring to the equation uh, that we need to add C uh, times X dot and K times X together, but we need to add them together in a negative way. So we set up a summing junction and we lead those results into the summing junction, but in a negative way. Uh, what comes out of the summing junction in this case is uh, we have these two summed together in a negative way, just what we, we're just what we needed. Now, if we look uh, again at the term inside the brackets, uh, we see that we need to add ft to it, the, the, the driving uh, function or the external function that's applied to the mass. Uh, it's added in a positive way. <clears throat> now, ft is an external input. It's not part of the system. Uh, you can actually get the system and apply different types of force to it. In fact, here I've just written FT, which is very general. So it could be a step function. It could be a sinusoid. It could be a, a soft tooth function. It could just be anything that you wanted it to be. But it's something that's determined from the outside of the system and that's not part of the system. So we add it in just as an external force, <clears throat> an input to the system. And now, if we look at what's coming out of the, out of the sum, summing junction, what we have coming out of the sum, summing junction is actually the term uh, inside the brackets. We're almost there. Well, we refer to the equation again. All we have to do, actually, to get x double dot now is multiply the result coming out of the summing junction by 1 over m. So we do that. And once we do that, we actually have completed uh, the model and the result of the multiplication by 1 over m, just as it, it is shown in the equation, is x double dot. So we've closed the loop, basically. 
and this completes the model of the ODE. Now there's a, a couple of features that are worth pointing out. Um, one reason or one benefit that we get from modeling in a detailed fashion like this is that we have access to some quantities that may be useful to us. Uh, for instance, the term, the result of the multiplication by the C block times X double dot, that this is the force in the damper. Uh, and then also um, the result of the multiplication by uh, between of K onto X is the spring force. So we have access to these. We could attach, uh, in Simulink, we could attach scopes to these and actually uh, plot the, uh, um, these two forces as a function of time. Now this procedure works for all uh, ODEs, uh, which is nice. I've shown it here for an MCK system, but it can be applied to any system that's modeled, that, whose dynamics is modeled in an ODE. And it can even be applied to multiple degree of freedom systems. Uh, other examples of this modeling technique will, will be demonstrated in this series, uh, so watch for, the, watch for them. Again, uh, all the details that are covered in this series are um, written up in a book that I wrote uh, uh, about this subject. It's a very practical book on uh, control systems engineering. It's available for purchase for $25 plus shipping and handling. If you want to order this book, please send an email to me at uh, fo one at polyxengineering.com. Once again, thank you for att your attention. I hope to have you as a uh, viewer on uh, further videos that I produce. Thank you very much.